let's move on to Cheddar Man because we don't have very much time and I know we're all keen to talk about <laughs> it. Oh, he well, is sorry. all over the front pages. Uh, this is um, a, a reconstruction, isn't it, of, of a skeleton that was found in the Cheddar Gorge, hence his name. Uh, Cheddar Man, not a superhero, but, but a skeleton. <laughs> found in 1903, has puzzled people for, uh, fascinated people for over 100 years. An extraordinary bit of scientific work has come to the conclusion that he had dark skin. Uh, he is the first modern Briton. So there, there were humans in Britain before Cheddar Man. They all died out, probably eaten by the dinosaurs or something. Anyway, he was the first of the, the new generation from whom we are all descended. Amazing. And he was black, or certainly had dark skin. Uh, so that has to make us all redefine our, our, our entire racial... Uh, and uh, I think it's absolutely amazing what they say. It's a look, people be surprised and it will make immigrants feel a bit more vo involved. And it's mm. a reminder, we are all immigrants. So all, to all the kind of racist people out there, not only are you nasty, but you're incredibly ignorant about your biological heritage. And, and Cheddar Man was not dealing... We have to explain this very quickly how Cheddar Man... How I'm white, but I'm related to Cheddar Man, who, who was black, because yep. after over 10,000 years being stuck in this island where it rains and it's very cold and there's not much sunlight, your skin gradually turns white. And it turns white because <laughs> white skin can absorb vitamin D better from the sun when there's only small amounts of it. That happened Cheddar to Man, me. Cheddar Man came from Africa. He didn't need white skin. <laughs> basically, people like me okay. have to go. That happened to me. Really that happened now. to me growing up in Glasgow, basically. <laughs> 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 we will leave it there. Thanks both very much indeed.